Hi guys, this is uh, Productions by the House, and I'm going to be uh, giving a short tutorial on how to add muzzle flashes to your videos, and also some pretty cool sound effects, and uh, tracking. So it, even if your camera is moving, the effect will stay in the same spot. So let's just get started by importing your footage, which in my case is this. Sometimes it will be a little bit long, so you will you're just gonna want to shorten it, like so. Press W to import it into your timeline, and then it's there. So, uh, if you want any muzzle flashes, uh, you can buy them off of Video Copilot. It's called Action Essentials. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks, or you can go to Fudge Crate and download some uh, free ones. Um, so after you've done that and imported it, uh, uh, you just find it wherever event you put it in, and in my case, it'd be right here. So just click it. And okay, so just grab your muzzle flash and then drag it down to where you want it to start shooting, which in my case is when I pull the trigger to my airsoft gun. So then, as you can see, it's in the middle, which is the complete opposite of what we want. So press C, select your item, and then press this icon here, uh, which will allow you to s make it smaller, make it bigger, move it around, and even turn it. So just maneuver it to where your muzzle flash is fitted with your gun. right here. So after you've done that, um, just say your camera's moving like mine, so the muzzle flash isn't going to be in that spot. So press this keyframe icon right here, and press the right arrow key to move to your next frame, which is right here. So every single time you make a slight movement or change with this, it'll keyframe it for you. So you just keep going frame by frame using your right arrow key and it keeps putting the muzzle flash on for you and sometimes you will have to uh, change it a lot so it will fit your gun so when your muzzle flash runs out sometimes your person will still be shooting so you're gonna Add an, you're going to need to add another one on. So unclick this, the icon, and go back and review your video to make sure you're satisfied. So if you're satisfied, then that's great. And the beauty about Final Cut Pro X 10 is that you can actually add, have like a lot of um, different layers. So I could have like 10 layers on top of this one. So you just, if you want um, more muzzle flash, you just keep skimming through until your last muzzle flash is shot. Um, make sure your pointer or your timeline bar is right on top of it, and press the right arrow key to go to the next frame. If you want a different muzzle flash uh, video, then that's fine, or you could keep the same one. So just simply drag it on top of that and then voila you've got you've got more but of course you have the same problem as before it's in the middle of your screen so select this clip using the C and again maneuver it until you have it perfect the way you want it on your gun press the keyframe button again once you've got the first frame done and press the right arrow key to track it with your gun.
Okay, once you run out, unclick the icon and review it once more to make sure that's what you want. If it's what you want, now let's start talking about sound effects and how it's going to fit your clip. So, you should be able to import sound effects into your events. So you can download some off of soundbible.com or uh, you could, uh, um, if you do buy it, Action Essentials, they do come with some sound effects you, you could use. So I am using the ones from Action Essentials. So find the one you want. In my case, it's the machine gun burst. Now it's only three shots, but we can add multiple sound clips in there to make it sound like it's a lot more. So place that right below and then just see how it looks sometimes you will want to uh, get rid of some sound here if you do have an airsoft gun you will still hear the clicking so you might want to lower the volume on your normal clip so as you can see it's only a three round burst so go to the exact point where it's right after the three burst ends and then add the same one in right below it and do this continuously until you fill it up so it will cover all the muzzle flashes that you have Which in my case is a little bit unrealistic because I am using a pistol, but um, you may have uh, a different gun than I do, so that would be good. So once you've done all that, review it. If you like what you see, then keep it. And uh, that's pretty much the whole tutorial on adding muzzle flashes and uh, tracking. So I'm. Um, uh, Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, please comment for other tutorials on Final Cut Pro X, and hopefully I can uh, answer your questions. Um, have a good day.